Hi everyone, welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. This is very important video for those people who want to learn automation. In this particular video, we are going to talk about when to use PLC, DCS, SCADA, what would be the scenarios that require PLCs, what are the process requirements that would require SCADA, what are the conditions that you might require DCS system. If we need to control a single process with a lot of discrete IOs, then the preferable choice for you is a PLC. It can also be used when your industrial plan have a lot of our extensive interlocking. PLC has faster scan time when compared to DCS. That's the reason it is best for safety interlocks. It have a good processing power. Best for those manufacturing plants where you have a lot of discrete IOs. Now let's talk about in what conditions you would require DCS system. When we talk about big production plants, fertilizer plants, chemical plants, cement plants, power plants, where you have a lot of analog IOs to control entire plant, it is always best to use DCS. It can also be used where process failure could cause a lot of damage like in chemical plants. If you have a bigger plant, that plant might have different process areas. Each process area in a DCS system would have its own controller. Not only one controller, there would be main controller and redundant controller. Due to wide range of networking features of DCS, it would be easy to determine the faults. In order to determine plant production rate, industrial networking has become really important. And due to this, PLC has become section of a DCS now. This is very important concept to understand. PLC can be part of a DCS system. You can get data from a PLC on a DCS network. If in the case you need a redundancy, redundancy is important feature of a DCS. In DCS system, each area have different controllers, not only one, two. If in the case your DCS system, one area controller is failed, it is not going to affect other areas. If in the case one controller fail in one single area, you don't have a single controller there. You have a redundant controller. In the case of failure of main controller, redundant controller will take care about the job. That's the beauty of the DCS system. Your process is controlled by different controllers, not only one single controller. If it is a larger system and you need historical data, then you should opt for DCS system. SCADA is a combination of software and hardwares. Basically, it collects data, monitor the entire plant. SCADA is used for huge industry where data collection, data transmission, and remote plant monitoring is required. SCADA system is used in power generation and transmission unit, oil and gas. It can be also used in chemical plants where frequent monitoring is required. SCADA transmit data and commands to the PLC in DCS to control a specified process. A PLC would be used to control the flow of water through a certain part of an industrial process. By using SCADA HMI system, the operator would be able to vary the set point for the flow. Consider a wellhead that's located far away, far away in a remote area where you might have a harsh environment and it's not safe to live in this particular condition to get a data, important data from wellhead, you would require an RTU that would be sending the data to the location which is a safe location through radio or any other transmission medium. So this is one of the application of a SCADA system. Like that, a SCADA can be used in many cases where you want to send the data remotely and want to monitor remotely what's going on into your different units. For instance, you have a plant A, B, C. They are actually located in different cities or different countries. You can centrally manage by using SCADA in a one particular control room where you can visualize what's going on into these particular respective plants. Not only you can visualize what's going on, you can also control that particular process by using SCADA system. I hope you're clarified when to use PLC, when to use DCS and when to use SCADA. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, Consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.